So what is the best thing that you can do for the environment? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. And I'm also going to take you along a day hike near the largest lake in the state of Georgia. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Aman Luthra. If you want to learn about how you can take action on climate change, as well as go on some really nice adventures like this one, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. I make new videos every Friday and I know you don't want to miss out on them. Today I want to talk about a climate change solution which I think is the best thing you can do for the environment, but nobody tells you about it. And you know, when it comes to climate change, there's a lot of different solutions we have to take. We have to work on cutting back on fossil fuels, recycling more, using fewer chemicals, and many other solutions. And you know, don't get me wrong, those are all very important solutions and we have to act on them right now. But what if I told you that the food that you eat also has an impact on the environment? That's right, what you put on your plate can either help or hurt the planet. So to put this into perspective, let's imagine that you go to a restaurant and you get a cheeseburger. It looks super tasty, doesn't it? But have you ever thought about how this cheeseburger was made? So let's break it down. You have buns, lettuce, tomatoes, you have one slice of cheese, and you have a patty. How much water do you think it takes to make all of these ingredients? Think about it for a second. Got your answer? So if you combine the buns, the lettuce, and the tomato, it takes about 23 gallons of water to make that. The slice of cheese takes about 40 gallons of water. And if we assume that the patty is made out of beef, that patty takes 660 gallons of water to make. So in total, that's about 723 gallons of water. And to put that into perspective, that's the amount of water that you could use to shower every day for two months. And the thing is, 91% of that water went into the patty and another 6% went into the slice of cheese. This is exactly what nobody talks about when it comes to saving the environment. Nobody really talks about the impact of eating meat and dairy and how that affects the climate. Nobody talks about the correlation between your diet and climate change. Not just in terms of the water that's used, but also the land use, the emissions, the ecological destruction, and so many other issues that I just don't have time to mention. And that is why I think the best thing you can do for the environment is to reduce or eliminate the amount of animal products from your diet. And that is exactly why I decided to go vegan. Now I cannot pressure or force you to become vegan or vegetarian, but if you've never heard of this issue or if you don't know much about it, I think it's important that you understand why someone would want to consider a predominantly plant-based diet. In case you're wondering where I am, we are doing the Laurel Ridge Trail next to Lake Sydney Lanier, which is about one hour northeast of Atlanta. So there are three primary reasons why people decide to adopt a plant-based diet, but I'm actually gonna give you a fourth one, which I don't think is talked about very much, but I still think is super important. So the first reason people adopt a plant-based diet is, of course, for the environment. Now I'm gonna share some statistics with you, and please understand that different sources will give different numbers. I will include my sources down in the description below, but please don't get caught up in the numbers. Focus on the message that they deliver. So we talked a little bit about how eating meat and dairy products uses a lot of water. In fact, it uses about one third of all the fresh water in the world. And that includes the water that the animals have to drink, they need for cleaning, and the water that's needed to grow all of the crops that the animal feeds. And again, the water that's needed for one burger is the same amount of water that you could use to shower for two months. That's a lot of water. And raising animals also uses up a lot of the Earth's land. In fact, it uses about 45% of all the Earth's land. That's almost half of all of the land mass on the planet. And that includes feedlots, factory farms, and the farms needed for growing crops, which the animals will eat. 
And finally, raising animals causes a lot of emissions. In fact, the United Nations says that animal agriculture causes about 18% of all emissions. And you know, I think that's on the low end. I've seen other studies that say emissions from eating animal products could be anywhere in the 30, 40, 50% area. But again, don't get caught up in the numbers. Just focus on the message. You know, we haven't even talked about the deforestation, the ocean acidification, the species extinction, and so many other environmental issues that come up with raising animals, which I don't even have time to talk about. But the good news is that you can address these issues by adopting a plant-based lifestyle. So if you compare a vegan to a meat eater, the vegan will save almost half of the emissions that are produced. And not only that, the vegan will use less than 10% of the oil, less than 8% of the water, and less than 6% of the land that's needed for a meat-eating diet. So the correlation between diet and climate change is that the more animal products that we consume, the bigger the toll it takes on the environment. The first reason why people choose to adopt a plant-based lifestyle is for the environment and so that we can preserve some amazing places like the one you're seeing right now. Now one of the biggest questions that comes up when people adopt a plant-based lifestyle is they ask, wait, isn't meat and dairy important for staying healthy? And that is the second reason why people decide to adopt a plant-based lifestyle, for their health. A lot of people think that when they stop eating meat and dairy, they're going to be missing out on certain nutrients. But you have to remember that whatever nutrients that you find in meat and dairy, they originated in the plants that the animals ate. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that you need to start eating grass, unless you're a cow, I suppose. But a lot of people think that if they stop eating meat, they're not going to get enough protein. And if they stop eating dairy, then they're not going to get enough calcium. But on the subject of protein, you have to realize that all protein is initially made by plants. And the plant-based sources of protein are endless. You've got beans, lentils, tofu, spinach, broccoli, the list goes on. As for calcium, you've got kale, seeds, potatoes, carrots, oranges, the list goes on. So again, you're really not missing out on anything when you adopt a plant-based lifestyle. The only thing that you might not be able to get is vitamin B12. And a lot of people think that B12 is only found in meat. But the thing is B12 is made by bacteria in the soil. And while people think that B12 can be found in meat, the reality is because of the way that meat is processed today, with all of the chemicals and pesticides that they use, the reality is even meat is usually deficient in B12. So whether you eat meat or not, your best bet for B12 is to just take a supplement. And regarding the topic of health, did you know that the most common diseases in developed countries like the United States are caused largely by lifestyle choices. So these diseases are cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. And if you look at the science, almost all of it ties back to eating animal products. So if you're concerned about one of these diseases, then a plant-based lifestyle might just be your best solution. Now the third major reason why people choose to adopt a plant-based lifestyle is for the animals. Let's keep it real. If you want to put meat on your plate, you have to raise an animal and eventually slaughter it. And you have to remember that these animals have feelings just like you and me. And like most people, I didn't really think much about that until I saw it in front of my eyes. And let me tell you, it's, it's really depressing. Every day on this planet, there are about 200 million animals that are slaughtered, usually for their food. And that includes cows, pigs, chicken, sheep, lamb, and turkeys. And if you add in all of the aquatic animals that get slaughtered, that number goes up to 3 billion animals. 
and it doesn't get much better with dairy. Just about all of our dairy products originate from milk. And in order to make milk, you have to make a female cow reproduce. And the thing is milk is made for baby calves to grow. Just like human breast milk is made for babies to grow, cow's milk is made for baby calves to grow. It's not made for humans. And so these female cows have to keep reproducing over and over until they just cannot take it anymore and that's when they're usually sold off to the beef industry. Now if you compare a meat eater to a vegan, the vegan will save an average of one animal's life every single day or about 365 lives a year. And not only that, the vegan will prevent all the suffering that most of these animals will go through. So if you want to address animal welfare rights and the well-being of all these innocent animals. The easiest thing that you can do is to just not put these animals in your mouth. And that is exactly why veganism was even invented in the first place, to reduce animal suffering to the greatest extent possible. So the fourth reason why people choose to adopt a plant-based lifestyle, which isn't really talked about so much, is for human rights. And there are two main points I want to focus on. The first one is world hunger. Right now there's about 7.8 billion people on this planet. But the thing is we have enough food to feed about 12 billion people. And there are still 1 billion people who are starving. And there's a lot of factors that go into that, but one of them is because of animal agriculture. A lot of the crops that go into feeding animals like cows, pigs, and chicken those crops could be eaten directly by people in the developing nations around the world. So by avoiding animal products, you give these starving people a better chance to live the life that they want. And the second point I want to touch on is the working conditions for those who work in the animal products industry. There is so much room for disease, bacteria, and viruses to break out among these workers and to other people. And it's just not sanitary for a lot of them to be in. So by avoiding animal product, you can create other opportunities for these workers to be in. So those are the four main reasons why people choose to adopt a plant-based lifestyle. I primarily went vegan for environmental reasons. And you know, like a lot of people, I did make a lot of excuses about why I didn't have to do this or why it wasn't really worth it, but once I finally embraced it, I'm telling you, I had no regrets about it at all. When you adopt a plant-based lifestyle, it becomes a part of your identity. You put your values back into the environment, back into the animals, and back into your own health as well. And by doing so, you can address climate change, you can address animal welfare rights, and you can address a lot of the common health problems that come up every single day. Not only did I feel a lot better about myself every day, but for one, I started to get a lot less acne than I used to before. And you know I still get acne here and there, but compared to what I used to get, it is way less. And the other thing too is that I like to run and go hiking a lot. Sometimes I would feel sluggish and sometimes I would not. But once I went fully plant-based, I don't think I ever had another sluggish day. And I learned about so many new foods that I didn't know existed before I was vegan. Like I had no idea what leek was. Do you know what leek is? Comment down below if you do. And of course it helped me get a lot better at cooking as well. Before I went fully plant-based I would barely cook at all, but now that I am fully plant-based I learned to combine it with the right spices and all of a sudden I enjoy it so much more than the meat and dairy. And I think the best benefit that I noticed about going fully plant-based was that I just had a lot more energy every day and I just felt a lot more fresh every day. And I think above all else, I just felt a lot less guilty every day that I wasn't doing as much harm to the environment or to other animals as I was before. So I am actually filming this on 4th of July and I didn't really have too many plans for today and I didn't want to stay at home all day so I decided to come out on the lake and it is such a beautiful day out here and there's so many other people out here celebrating 4th of July as well. So 
So those are the reasons why I adopted a plant-based lifestyle. And now it's your turn. Again, this is the best thing that you can do for the environment, which nobody tells you. You can make a difference in this world, and you must make a difference in this world. We live in a world that doesn't want you to know about the dangers of animal products on the environment, your health, and on the animals. You can choose to eat plant-based foods that are healthy and taste just as good, if not better, than meat and dairy products. You can choose to put your values back into the environment and into the animals. And you can choose to live a sustainable lifestyle for future generations. I will totally make some future videos about how you can transition into a plant-based lifestyle. And of course, you can absolutely comment below with any questions that you have and I will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I make climate change videos and outdoor adventure videos like these every week and I know you don't want to miss out on them. So make sure you turn on your notifications as well. And just remember, nature can live without us, but we cannot live without nature. Alright, see you guys!